Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that's called container with most water. So in this problem, we have been given this diagram and there are a couple of vertical lines we have been given in this diagram and we need to calculate the maximum area of water, right? So what the maximum area means here? Uh, at, any, at any given point of the time, there are two, there should be two vertical lines that can hold the maximum area of water. So that area we need to calculate. Definitely, we will go ahead and uh, we will try to understand using whiteboard. And uh, here the note section is we you may not slant the container. So slant means we cannot. Uh, it should be straight on the horizontal, right? So straight means the water would be straight. It we cannot uh, make it up or down, or we cannot make it slopey, right? And n is at least two. So n is at least two means. Uh, uh, there will be at least two vertical lines right so this is the assumption and the note section let's quickly jump on the whiteboard and let's try to understand what this problem is trying to explain us right so uh, here i copied this diagram here and uh, we see these are the heights right so there are two coordinates uh, uh, two coordinates means x and y there are two coordinates we have been given so this is the y axis right and this is the x axis right so y axis represents the height of uh, these vertical lines so for example if we see this height where the water is there this is this height is 7 right and uh, of course there is x axis there is no uh, there is no mention of the indexes or anything but uh, indices or anything but uh, uh, the each individual width is 1 right so basically each basically the width between any two vertical line any two consecutive vertical line is one one unit of the distance all right so now uh, the calculation if we have to do for the maximum area the simple formula is basically width into height right so that's how we calculate the rectangular area and we see like this is looks like a rectangular so basically what we would do here uh, we will basically do this width and multiplied by so here is star means multiplied multiplied by height right so height we have already been given in the question itself so this would be the formula to calculate the area now let's jump to the maximum area how we will calculate the maximum area so before going towards maximum area let's take the step back and let's try to understand this problem like how uh, this problem is um, trying to explain uh, and what the, this problem is trying to explain in real world so let's let's see so for example if uh, i have the i have this scenario i have these vertical lines in the real time scenario and i'm trying to fill the water right so let's try to understand this and if i'm filling the water right continuously here and let's say if i'm filling the more water right so definitely the water is going to slip from this uh, rightmost red line why it's going to slip because this red line can only hold the water right this is how it can hold so for example if this height is 7 this uh, this particular red line height is 7 right then basically it can hold till height 7 right so here the one observation we can think of like uh, whatever the whatever the two vertical lines we find we found we we try to figure out right whatever the two vertical lines we try to figure out for the area one vertical line if it is the minimum minimum means if it is the uh, it is the lesser height than the other vertical line that will dominate the area right so why i am uh, saying this statement that will dominate the area because of this condition we can we can clearly see from the diagram so let's say for example this height is 8 and this height is 7 right and then we have to uh, we have to get the height that which height we will use would you use 8 or would you use 7 right so if if i'm going to use 8 that's not holding the water actually this height 7 is dominating uh, here in the in the calculation of area why it's dominating because after 7 the wo the water is going to slip right it is going to slip it is going to slip to the right side uh, or it's not going to hold right so at le at least the water uh, storage can be happened till 7 height so that's why we will uh, need the minimum height of two vertical lines right so now the next follow-up question is how we will figure out these two vertical lines or how we will figure out these two eligible vertical lines that we will use for our calculation 
and that's a nice question so uh, here what we will do we can start from scratch scratch means we, will, we can start from very beginning vertical line so this is also one vertical line we can start from this height and this height is one let's say and then we can basically what we can do we can just keep comparing each and every vertical line and we can just uh, see like what is the area let's let's say for example if i am taking this vertical line then this height is one and uh, width is one right so in this case area is one into one is one now what i will do i will uh, i will uh, let me erase let me un undo this thing and what i will do i will just hold this pointer so let's say this pointer is i and another pointer is j so here i'm talking about two nested loop right uh, in the programming term why i'm talking about the two nested loop because this is how i can hold one height and then i can keep in the my inner loop basically it will just keep traversing the other high other vertical lines so if i'm holding this uh, vertical line that's height is one then i will i already calculated this area right between this uh, black line and red line bigger line right because this height eight does not matter because one will dominate uh, one will be count right one will be holding the water but not the eight one now i will come here so this height is also seven seven right but this height is one so height would still be one and let's say height if i'm representing with h and this width i'm representing w then i'm just writing uh, below that and then let's say this height is also six but it does not matter because we 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 will take the minimum height and now what would be the width here so the width width will be this one and then one two right so this area would be two so similarly we will we will just keep calculating in career in with respect to this particular height right that's what that's how we will just keep calculating all the area and what we will do we will just keep recording what is the maximum area similarly we will do for this height similarly we will do for this height and uh, with respect to all the all the heights right so that's how we will just keep calculating the area and we will just keep a track of the maximum whatever the maximum so in this particular scenario the maximum area would be the maximum area would be this guy this vertical line and this particular vertical line that will uh, uh, that will have the maximum area and why it will be having because height is 7 and this width is 1 2 so one two three four five six seven right so width is also seven and then it will be 49 now here the interesting part is basically the calculation of width so how we are going to calculate the width right so i just simply uh, have written here one two three four five six seven and why because uh, each width is one between any two vertical lines basically any two consecutive vertical lines the width is one and that's why i just simply did like this but in real what we can do here we can just assign the index here 0 1 2 or something right so if i move to here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and let's say i need to calculate the width of this last line right then what i would do i would simply between uh, this last uh, red line and the leftmost red line then what i would do 8 minus 1 i would do 7 so let's say this is my index of the last line and uh, i will just simply subtract my uh, leftmost uh, red red vertical line uh, with index itself right so 8 minus 7 i would get the width of 7 and height i already know what is the minimum height that is 7 and that how i will calculate the maximum area so right now we are talking about the nested loop so when we talk about the nested loop it means we are talking about the n square complexity right n square complexity we are talking about or in fact uh, i can simply do here n square <coughs> right because uh, that's how we can do now uh, this is this is just the idea that brute force that uh, brute force we can apply and then we can just do that but uh, rather than solving with the n square what we can do we can just solve it in the linear complexity and how we will do we can use the two pointers approach because we have couple of facts here so even before go jumping to the approach let's try to collect our observations and facts right so uh, let me take the pencil here so the first observation right so first observation is basically here the minimum height we need the minimum height of any two vertical lines right this is first observation now the second observation is basically uh, we were struggling to calculate the width as well right so with how we will calculate the width with we will calculate the index right so for example the j minus i we can do simply right if i one pointer is called 
uh, j and another pointer is called i then simply what i would do I, if i am keep incrementing j pointer then basically i can calculate my width is j minus i this is uh, mainly two observation we need i we need minimum height and another we need the width as well and third basically we can say this is not the observation but this is the like the prior knowledge we should have like how we will calculate the area so he, area will be like if i do height means h and width means w then this is the area h into w means my area right and in this manner what i can do i can just keep uh, tracking of I, I can just keep calculating the area and then I can just keep track of the maximum area and that will be my result. So these are the couple of observations. On the basis of these observations, we can build our algorithm, right? So this is one part. Now, uh, moving to the approach, like what approach we should take. So as I mentioned here, the nested loop, that's one approach. And another, I, I was proposing like the two-pointer approach. So how, because how we will... Uh, how we will uh, implement that two pointers approach right so coming to that point and that's the reason uh, first of all we should collect our observations right so here the important of this observations is minimum height how we can use this minimum height observation to our two pointers approach right uh, so the way we can uh, use this observation is basically minimum height is for example i am having my first pointer is here right i and j and j is the rightmost right and left is let's say i i is zero and j is uh, let's say in this case what is this index zero one two three four five six seven eight right so initially it is j is eight okay now i already know that uh, this height at index zero that is the minimum that at the uh, with the comparison of if I compare the height at the index 0 and at the index 8 the minimum height is present at index 0 so what makes sense what makes more sense if I move my pointer from here that makes sense or if I move my pointer from here what what it makes sense because we already know the facts right the minimum height we know uh, we we need the minimum height right we don't know the minimum height but we need to we, we need the minimum height to calculate the area right <clears throat> and based on that observation if we know the minimum height then basically we will just calculate the area of uh, basically this one so in this case one into height into width what is the width 8 minus 0 and that is 1 into 8 that would be 8 so this is the my area right so I am done with this particular height because I really need to take care of the minimum height and that's the important observation here. So I will move my pointer from here but not from here, right? Why? Because uh, minimum height, that's what I need to know uh, in every iteration to calculate the maximum area. Now let's see uh, this height. Uh, what is the height here? It is the height is 8, right? So at index 1 is height is 8, right? So height is 8 and this is h and then w means width right and into width so what is the width here we did not move the j pointer yet right so width is basically 8 minus 1 right so 8 minus 1 is 7 so this is 8 and we need to uh, we need to have the minimum height so 8 is the height of on this left pointer and uh, this height is 7 right so we will definitely take the minimum height not the 8 so here the height is 8 and here the height is 7 so we will take the 7 right so if i do control z here so this would be 7 right and into so 8 minus 1 that is the width right so what would be our height 49 and in every iteration we need to keep track of the maximum so first height would first area we got is 8 another area we got is 49 so 49 is the maximum we will store in our output is a 49 right till we get the next greater uh, area right for example if i got 56 hypothetically then i would record as a 56 as the maximum area right so now this height is minimum so then i will move this pointer i will i will not move this pointer but i will move the j pointer because of this fact that we need the minimum height right so i think this approach is now pretty much clear that we need to use this fact minimum height and how we calculate the width and what is the uh, formula if we know all these three facts then it's it's pretty straightforward right so let's go ahead and create a couple of placeholders here and then let's see uh, uh, then we will uh, verify our, our assumptions here so 
we need the two pointers here right so if i take one pointer is start and end pointer is basically let's say height dot length minus one height dot length minus one is here is basically uh the total number of heights right so total number of heights is uh, let's say in this example this array right so if, if we consider this array so total length and minus one because we are taking the index right so let's do this <clears throat> so what we will do we will just check uh, here while start is less than end oops less than end right then what we are going to calculate first of all we will calculate the minimum height right because that is our criteria right so let's go back and uh, verify all these facts right minimum height width and the formula that's what we need to uh, use in our algorithm so let's go ahead and do this height start comma height and now we know the uh, minimum height right we need another uh, variable here that's called uh, max area and let's say maximum area like it cannot uh, i mean at least it would be zero right uh, that's what we are assuming like so uh, because the considering the height is always positive height is not negative right so if it is positive then at least it would be zero so we are taking the maximum area at least zero if it if it is not there then at least it would be zero and anyways the node section says that at least the uh, n is at least two means at least two vertical lines is zero right but in the safer side we can just assume that maximum area at least minimum zero right so uh, what would be the maximum area so uh, let's make it little bit more simplify here so area what would be the area so area would be minimum height into width right so what is our width here width would be end minus start and that's how we were calculating here on the whiteboard right so end minus start if you see here right so 8 minus 1 or 8 minus 0 this is our width right all right so let's do the same thing here as well and now let's calculate the max area so max area would be math dot max here and then max area comma area all right and uh, that's how we would uh, keep doing that now we need to move the two pointers as well to break this loop right otherwise how we would move the pointers right so as we discussed earlier we would consider the minimum height uh, fact here right to move our pointer so let's say my height start and if it is less than height end right and if it is less than start then uh, if start, uh, beginning height is less than i mean uh, i pointer is less than the end pointer then i am moving the start pointer or i pointer so here uh, we were using i and j but i i took here start and end so that uh, just to make it more clear for the naming convention purpose right and uh, in the end we need to return the max area so this is fairly straightforward so once once we once we know all these facts once we observe it correctly and then if we are able to try to if we are able to understand the problem itself then i think uh, the code should not be a big deal and let's try to uh, check for the compilation error here so cannot find uh, yeah this is typo so let's uh, correct this let's try to see what's going on for the more compilation errors and if there is not any then we can just go ahead and submit but before even before doing that uh, we can just check uh, the time complexity is order n here and why because in the worst case we have to traverse each and every vertical line right so even if we are going we are doing the two end search but it's not a typical binary search or it's not uh, the efficient right so it's at least in the worst case we have to uh, we have to traverse through each and every line so it would be uh, order of n right uh, the height basically space complexity i would say that we are not maintaining any additional array or anything so in fact uh, and in fact this height array has already been given we are using reusing this thing and we are not uh, returning any array or anything right we are we are not maintaining any additional space to calculate or uh, uh, for our algorithm right so it will be order of one let's see and let's check if it is getting submitted and if yes then i think we should be done so let's see so 
uh, yeah okay so I think it, it's working as uh, expected right so I think it should be fine so even before ending this video let's quickly I, I, I would like to summarize that uh, what we discussed and quick takeaways right before ending this so quick takeaways basically here is uh, the problem itself says these two vertical uh, these all the vertical lines we have been given and we need to figure it out two eligible vertical lines that would help us to solve the uh, this problem to solve this problem or to calculate the maximum area so first of all we need to calculate the area not even maximum area and how we would calculate the area then we have to observe all these things right so to, in order to calculate the area we need the minimum height otherwise water will be slipping out and then water can be holded by only the minimum height right but not the maximum height right so this is the first observation that we need the minimum height another observation is how to calculate the width so simply here we are just doing the index j minus i kind of thing right so that's how we are calculating the width right and uh, the formula we should know this is uh, nothing but it's kind of looks like a rectangle so width into height is the formula and that's how we would calculate the area and uh, we can solve in the two ways brute force would be the n square complexity because we can just do the nested loop and we can just uh, keep uh, calculating the area basically for any two vertical lines right sequentially and that would cost as n square complexity but uh, with using the two pointer approach like one is the left most one is the left most uh, height and another is the right most height and we are holding those indexes indices of the left left most height and the right most height then we can just move those indices basically based on the minimum height because here the minimum height is the crucial right so that's how we are just doing so hopefully this is useful thanks a lot bye